Hi, my name is Roger Shenton. I'm Team Technical Coordinator for HRC. So what we have here is Tim Geyser's CRF 450. Um, this is his uh, race bike here this weekend. So I'm just going to take you around a little bit just to show you a few things on his setup. So we start with the handlebar. So this is a uh, Renful um, Fatbar 827 model. Um, this is the, the bend that Tim's been using for the past few seasons. Um, he's quite uh, adapted to this bend and uh, it suits his uh, riding style perfectly. So with the handlebar, we also have the, the grips. So these are like an ultra tacky grip. There's a G198. Um, uh, this is uh, the, the best the best setup for uh, the feeling Tim has with the with the handling. Um, then we go on to the let's go with the clutch lever. So this is personalized for for Tim. So it's just a little bit longer than than uh, standard. And then uh, we work our way across the cockpit. So yeah, this is uh, this is our engine uh, stop switch and uh, stop mode also has a little light indicator to let us know that it's functioning correctly um, we have the engine start button and then we have uh, our map switch so we can change the mapping um, of the of the bike when we're on track um, normally we adjust depending on which circuit we are we are at for this race weekend we're going to be using number two um, then we work down a little bit, so we have our titanium fuel tank. It is a larger capacity than a standard. Um, this is because, yeah, we do 35 minute motos. Um, so we need that extra capacity just to, just to be safe. Um, then we work along to the seat. So this is special seat for Tim. Um, the cover is, uh, yeah, you can see it has some grippy area. And basically, we use this for when it's um, more dry conditions. Um, if it's muddy conditions, we do have a separate cover that uh, has some more grippy lines across, so we can. Uh, it just doesn't have the feeling of slipping back. Then we we go down to to the the rear. So we have have the Pirelli MX32 tire. So Tim's been using this specific tire for, for a number of years now and he's really confident and happy with this. Um, uh, has gives maximum traction and uh, he, at the moment for this track this weekend, this is uh, our best setup. And then we have the Super Sprocks rear sprocket there, also the, the front sprocket. Um, they, uh, they help us out a great deal on supplying us the products. And we have the DID chain. Then we move along a little bit. So we have Tim's foot pegs. So this we've tested various different uh, specifications and Tim really likes this setup. So this is what we run with him. Then we, we move up a little bit. So we have a, we have a lot of carbon fiber as you can see for a maximum protection and lightweight we, it's, we have on the skid plate also the the rear chain guide there let me move up so yeah we have a few extra wires and cables than on a production bike this is just our, our data logger system um, so after each session the bike has been on the track we download the data and then we can uh, um, assess and analyze exactly what the bike is doing on track. So moving around a little bit, so we have handguards. A service uh, provides us with all our plastics. And basically we choose again on uh, if he runs these or not, depending on the type of, of circuit and terrain, just to protect the hands from stones and, and roost. Moving down a little bit, we have uh, carbon fiber again, protection on the fork. Uh, we have yeah, factory triple clamps. 
factory bar mounts. And uh, moving around, again, Pirelli front tyre. Tim has a lot of confidence in this tyre and uh, pretty much we use this at every circuit, even sand tracks. Okay, so then moving around to this side, we have uh, larger radiators for more sufficient engine cooling. And going down, we have the Yoshimura exhaust system here. Um, basically, this has been designed for um, maximum performance with this engine setup. So Yoshimura, they supply and do a lot of R&D with uh, Honda HRC, the exhaust. Um, moving along a little bit more, so we have the Hinson clutch. So they've been with us a number of years now and uh, they provide all our clutch components. Uh, so yeah, Tim has a good feeling also with, with that setup and uh, we try not to change too much with that. And then moving around to the, the rear, the rear this side. So yeah, uh, we have 240 brake disc. Um, we have a 260 on the front. It's pretty much standard size. Seems quite easy on the brakes. Uh, yeah, a few more electronic components again, just to. Uh, just to try to get all the data that we can from the bike and the performance and uh, exactly what it's doing on track. And that's that's pretty much pretty much it. Yeah, I like I say, Yoshimura exhaust system there, the muffler. Uh, suspension, show of suspension, factory. They uh, they provide us all all uh, the support we need. Um, a number of tests we do out throughout out the year as well, throughout the season, um, just to dial in the setup, which is better for Tim.